knees. Run that graphic. Yeah. Yo, rookie. That's nice. Ooh, is that a championship belt? That's fire. I love that. We should actually give that out. Can we give that out in real life? So this is, You want to make that and give that out to somebody? We should do that. That's fine. All the guys that come bless us. For sure. Uh, on our show. You ever hold platform. one of those up? I, I have. They're heavy, right? They are heavy. They're pretty heavy. So, yeah. so let's do this, okay? Did, we didn't tell the chat yet who we have, did, did we? No, you, you got to run through the list of nominees. I, I just, I teed let's, you up. This is your time to shine. Boom. So this is what we're going to do, BC and Andrew, Bianca in the back. Here's what we're going to do, all right? I want to go to the graphic first okay. of the nominees, like Ashley, just how she just teed me up, but uh -huh. boom, let's put that up. And then we're going to run the highlight video, and then we're going to introduce our guests. All right. So we're going to do the graphic first. Graphic first. Then the highlight, and then we get into the intro and in the, in, 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 in the interview. How is that? Y'all ready? All right, here we go. We have the Yo Rookie Pepsi Zero Sugar NFL Rookie of the Week nominees right here. You have Brian Branch. Ashley, did you watch opening night? Because we, we didn't see you. We weren't on the show Monday, but Thursday night football. I did, did watch. you watch? I did, did you, watch. Did you see this kid pick off Patrick Mahomes? I did. Thursday night did. football. You he were right, by the way. Job. I saw you tag me on Instagram. You ignored um, it? My dad was also right because he, he called the Lions as well. Um, okay, Mr. Jeff, smart Yeah, guy. I did ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you were right. You were 100% right. You had the Lions. You said you would not be surprised if the Lions pulled out a win, and they did. That's right. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs might need to go shopping for some wide receivers okay. because they're in some trouble, but this guy balled so, out. So he, he's on our list this week, okay? Pepsi Zero Sugar NFL Rookie of the Week nominee, Brian Branch. Great job. You picked out Patrick Mahomes. You said it was a dream. This other guy, and, I, and this is why we say, yo, rookie, right? Because when I text the guy that came on, I said, yo, can you come on the show? He said, yeah, no problem, OG. So I'm like, yo, rookie, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a part of a culture, it's part of the thing. <laughs> so this guy, I don't know his name, but this is why this segment is so legendary, Ashley, because we mm -hmm. got to get to know these guys. Who are they? Who's going to be the next Odell Beckham Jr.? Who's going to be the next uh, 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 Michael Thomas? Who's going to be the next Drew Brees? This kid right here, Ashley, help me with, the, with his name. Number 17 for the for the Rams. Did you see what he did? He balled out. No Cooper Cup. Puka? Puka? Nakua. Puka? Nakua. Nakua. 10 catches, 119 yards. And Ashley has another game, right? Because you said I like to be loud and wrong. So I hit on Thursday night football, and I said the Lions, okay? And then I hit with the Rams. Ashley, you looked at me like I was like I, I had a freaking thing on my forehead. I said the Rams. A thing on your forehead. They beat the they beat the Seattle Seahawks 30 to 13. So you got my guy that went out there with no Cooper Cup and he balled out. Mm -hmm. And then Bijan Robinson, he goes out there and, and he has some highlight moments, had like 80 something yards, 83 yards from scrimmage, uh, 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 a receiving touchdown. So he's on that list, and we're not surprised here. And then you also have Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson balled out. He looked good. He actually looked good, but they didn't get the job done. And then my man, Mr. X-Man. We're going to call him the X. Throw up the X. Dante Hall. Can we do that? Dante Hall was the first to do that. I know we got Des Bryant that does I that. I know, but can we pass the, can we pass the X along to somebody else? You know why I said that is because like passing um, of a torch. Um, legendary returner, mm -hmm. um, Mr. Hall from the Kansas City Chiefs back in the day when I was playing, every time he scored, he threw up the X. And he took it to the house. And he had a walk-off last night. So last night, we had to put him on the list. Late, late last night, I'm driving. I get an email from the Pepsi team and the IM Athlete team. that says, add him to the list. Absolutely. Add him to the list. And then you, you have Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers, nine catches for 70-something yards. But the dude looks like a human joystick. We're talking about a dude from South Florida who's like that. Trained with Mr. Goldfeet. This is him. So let's run this highlight video because this is who we're sitting down with, Mr. Zay Flower himself. But take a look at the moment that he had this week. If you, like me, did not get the gift of great quickness and athleticism growing up, <laughs> it's because God gave it all to Zay Flowers. Wow, does he have a lot of quick. Zay Flowers on the far side, spins at the 25, still on his feet. First down, Raven. He stopped on a dime left and changed twice. Lamar takes the snap, looking left, slings it. He's got a man open, and it's caught by Zay Flowers. Welcome to Baltimore, Mr. Electric. That kid has flames when he takes off. You get it to Zay Flowers. I don't know if anybody can tackle this guy one-on-one -on -one in space. Lamar Jackson takes the snap in the shotgun. 
Throws quickly. Flowers has it. Steps out of attack. He's to the 40. Jukes a man. 35. Far sideline. 30. Steps out of bounds. First down, Ravens. Hey, crashing on. Oh, I, I, oh, I got him. I got him. No, I got him. I got him. I got him. Ravens finding as many ways as possible right now to get the ball in the hands of Zay Flowers. All right, listen, so let's go through some of these stats real quick because I, I got some things to ask. You got to break this down, all right? Listen, Zay Flowers, Baltimore ro- wide receiver, like we mentioned, right. nine receptions, 87 scrimmage yards, 78 receiving, nine rushing in week one. Now, it is interesting because Odell Beckham obviously is famously part of the Baltimore Ravens. That's he right. signed for $18 million, and it was reported at the time when we spoke to um, uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Mm-hmm. I mentioned to him that – it was reported that DeAndre Hopkins and Odell Beckham were both on Lamar's wish list of wide receivers to make him happy. That's he right. only got one, and that was OBJ. But OBJ only finished with three targets. That's right. Everybody was expecting that OBJ was going to go ahead and be wide receiver number one. But it looks like the Rook is wide receiver number one. What do you make of this? I, I, you know what? I don't look at it that way, Ashley. And I know uh, if it was like five, six years ago, maybe even 10 years ago, I would look at this and say, uh, yeah, clear cut one. In today's NFL, you need multiple guys that can get that done. So this week, in week one, it was Zay, and that's why he's uh, a nominee for Rookie of the Week. So make sure everybody go in and vote, and we'll send you guys the link. There's a link in the chat, and then we'll send you guys a link later. But make sure you guys go and vote. But I say that, Ashley, because next week, Zay can go out there and have five catches, and Odell can have 12, yeah. right? But it's so funny because the reason why I – made the move to go from the Jets to the Giants is because of Odell Beckham Jr. Mm-hmm. And so Odell, you know, if, if I'm sure Odell's embracing this and he loves it. And we'll ask Zay when he jumps on because he's getting situated now about their relationship and how things are going. But I'm like, yo, if I have Odell in his prime on the other side, he's the Z, he's the X, it doesn't even matter. Then I'm on the other side. What does that give me? It gives me matchups. It makes my game easier. So now Zay goes out there, have this type of game, and then and there's... He came out after the game and said, like, yo, the game is now slowing down. Next week is going to be easier. So we haven't even seen all of Zay yet, right? Like, he's still adjusting to the speed of the NFL. This is what he said. So I say all that, Ashley, because, you know, Odell's going to have some big opportunities because Zay is pulling coverage. Zay is being targeted, and Zay is doing what he's supposed to do. Mm Mm-hmm. So... Somebody in the chat gave us an interesting comparison. They said he's a taller, more skilled Hollywood Brown. How do you feel about that comparison? Do you see it? No, 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 no. No? Listen, I I respect Hollywood Brown, and Zay will say the same thing. You know, they come from the same area, the same camp. Like, down here in South Florida, where we're at, where our studio is. Very close, very close. Some of the top wide receivers from Jerry Judy to Zay, all those guys grew up together, trained together. They have the same trainer. uh, These kids out here at seven, eight years old, running routes like that. How Zay plays, it took me 10 years into the league to start learning how to move like that. Yeah. He's been moving like this since he was in in elementary school, middle school. Mm-hmm. So I, I say all that, you know, because, you know, I could be long-winded. I know our guys here, we'll get to it in like 10 seconds. But Zay is different. We can't, he's not no Hollywood Brown. He's not no, you know, Odell Beckham Jr. Zay is Zay. We're mm-hmm. talking about a dude that's super explosive. He can play inside. He can play outside. He's a he, he's a, that human joystick. His vision is crazy. His football IQ is through the roof. He's special. I mean, the Baltimore Ravens. They they. I'm glad that they didn't go get a vet. And they said, you know what? We're not gonna go pay a vet. We're gonna go find somebody that can be the next legendary wide receiver. And that's the upside for this kid. Well, listen, we're talking rookies. We got a rookie, Yo, but rookie. we don't just got any rookie. We got the rookie of the week yeah. in the building with us. Zay Flowers yeah. is here. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Yo, Hi. rookie. Yo. But no, I'm feeling good. I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to soak it all up and just, you know, we got a long year, so we got 16 more left. I'm just trying to play week by week, stay healthy, and keep doing what I'm doing. So, Zay, afterwards, obviously, everybody threw a mic in your, in your face and a camera in your face, and they wanted to get your thoughts after your first game. You know, I was watching this game, and I was telling Ashley, you know, I'm looking at the box score, and I see, you know, eight targets, nine targets, ten targets, and I was like, damn, like, Lamar's really targeting him. And so after the game, you know, you, you, you gave your thoughts, and you're like, yo, the game finally slowed down or slowing down, and next week's gonna even going to be better. Mm. Can you walk us through what you meant by that? Uh, I just feel like, on my first game, I was like, you know, you you excited to go play your first game. So 
I'm like, I'm super excited. I'm making, I'm making cuts. I'm making them um, moves that I was making a little bit too early. That next week I'd be able to slow down and be like, give myself time and let the game come to me a little bit more. Cause I got old, I got Bateman out there with me. So it's gonna be matchups where it's gonna be one on ones and old gonna take some people out. Bateman gonna take some people out, and they just gonna have to choose across the board. And we got Mark coming back. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, being a rookie comes with its own challenges, its trials, its tribulations, but you're obviously doing something right if you're a rookie of the week nominee. But I want to ask you what goes into developing that chemistry with your quarterback so that you can have a week one debut like you had. Uh, see, me, me and Lamar spent a lot of time over the summer before the season even started and got together through passes. Um, he was, he just wanted to see how I run routes, how explosive I was off the line and know where he had to put the ball. And I, I, I kept telling him, like, bro, you give me, like, shallows, you give me bubbles, I'm going to take it for 15, 20 because that's, I just feel like that's what I do. But we ain't even get to hit the deep ball yet. We ain't, we ain't, so we just really, like, we really warming up. We really ain't even get everybody started yet. So, listen, I, I know you're one of those guys that, you know, had a dream and uh, went out and worked for but believed and had the confidence that you were going to be in this position. So I don't think that this moment or this time surprises you. You've been doing this since you was in peewee football. You've been doing this at the, yeah. on the biggest level in South Florida, the best football state. Uh, my question for you is, what was your moment where it hit you? It was like, yo, I'm in the NFL, mm. right? For me, it was Sunday night football. We're playing in uh, Foxborough, and, and I'm catching the ball in pregame, and then the, 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 the lights – uh, the fireworks went off and then the, the national anthem and I was just like in awe and then I had Jake the Snake Plumber yelling at me, Brandon, Brandon, wake up, catch the ball. Like I was catching his ball while he was uh, warming up. And I was like, oh man, yeah. I, made it in, I made it to the NFL. Have you had a moment like that? Was this Sunday, uh, did something come up for you? Uh, I'll say um, when I ran out the tunnel, I, I, I ran out the tunnel, but I really kind of wanted to just look around and like just take it all in. Like, damn, I'm in the NFL. <laughs> but I tried to play it all cool. I did a little dance and then just took off through the tunnel. Right. That would have been dope if he actually stopped and just soaked it in. I would it would have been cool. You saw that. Odell. That's he did the Ray Lewis. About. I was thinking about doing it. Yeah. That. Right. Yeah. Well, listen, I just mentioned to Brandon of the dance that OBJ did when he came out the tunnel. He he saluted uh, Ray Lewis with the with the flock dance. But I want to ask, there's going to be a lot of going back and forth between the two of you. And in the media, people are going to be dissecting who is wide receiver one, who is wide receiver two. And this week, it was you. But how do you and Odell not allow that outside noise to affect what you two can do on the field at the same time, at separate times, all in the name yeah. of winning games for this it's football important. team? I mean, I feel like all the receivers we got, receiver one, Bateman, me, um, you could put Mark in that too. So, and before the season even started, O came up to me and was like, bro, I want to see you eat. Like, mm. I want to see you eat. So, if we eating at the same time, that's going to be wonderful. But if I got a game where I'm not eating and you eating, he said, look, bro, I'm going to be so proud of you and you don't even understand. And after this game, he hit me right after and said, and you know, he FaceTimed me and started laughing. He was like, bro, I told you, like, this is you, like, you ready for this moment? I'm proud of you. And that's it just went from there. So we both support each other. We ain't really worried about receiver one, receiver two. That conversation, we just go out and play the game we love. So I enjoyed my time in New Speaking York. Speaking of he right here. <laughs> <laughs> you going to live a long time, bro. <laughs> you going to live a long time. <laughs> Tell him what up. What's up, bro? Yeah, appreciate it. Be uh, Marshall, what's up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, I enjoyed my time in New York with O, um, you know, truly one of the best athletes that I've ever been around. And, and so um, what have you learned, you know, during your time with O so far? Uh, uh, honestly, just play the game. I just have fun. Like, do what you do. Like, it's never like a dull moment around him. You you around him, he going to have fun with you. But when you hit that field, he going to go. Like, he going to let you know he going to go. And you're going to see it in the way he play, the way he run, the way he do everything, the way he take care of his body. So, and that's what I'm learning from. Just be yourself, play the game. And when you off the field, everything don't got to be so serious. Just be you. Is there one thing though? It was, was there one thing that's like, oh, I can take this right now. Cause obviously it's a journey. Y'all have the rest of this year, hopefully a couple more years together. But was there one thing that's like, yo, I need to do that. Mm. That how he treat his body. Like he take care of his body. Like, I never seen before like he got he got like people that come in to take care of him. He got he do stuff here at the facility. 
he do stuff on his own. He show me exercises to keep my hamstrings strong, my like my whole body. So I'm just taking like those small things and building my routine that I'm learning from him and applying it to my game. We're always talking about, you know, what makes a team so deadly, the intangibles, the things that, you know, you can't necessarily teach. And would you say that it's the camaraderie, the chemistry, just the selfishness, if that's a word, selflessness? That's the word of, yeah. of this team that is what's going to make you guys so deadly this season and ultimately take you deep into the off into the postseason? Absolutely, because whenever whoever make a play, no matter if it's the running back, no matter if it's Lamar running, Mark catching or O going on a deep ball, we all support each other. And we all understand that there's only one ball and it only can go one way at a time. So whenever we make a play, we got to celebrate that play and be there for the next play. When your time comes, you got to make that play. Talk to me about Lamar Jackson, right? Um, yeah. Were you ecstatic and excited when you got the call <laughs> and, and it was the Baltimore Ravens on the other end, right? And you're like, damn, I get yep. to play with Lamar. Talk to me about, you know, your, your time with Lamar and, and how cool it is playing with him. Honestly, like, I had a feeling long, like, a while ago before we even started, like, the draft prep that it was going to be a Ravens. The Ooh. way I went to um went to the Shrine Bowl and I talked to him for, like, three or four hours. They wouldn't let me talk to no other coach while I was on the field. And I was just talking to him and he was just spitting game to me. So from that time, from that point on, I was like, bro, I feel like I'm going to the Baltimore Ravens. And I kept telling my dad that. And then he was like, it's going to work out perfect. You got Lamar. He know, like, he know how we play. He's from South Florida. So he know if he give you the ball, he, you're going to make something happen. And no matter where he give it to you at. But me and Lamar, we just, like, I say we talk a lot, like, about where he want me to be and, and like, the breaks or the routes and how fast, how fast. He was like, the game going to slow down for you. When the game slow down for you, it's going to be easier. Because he was telling me about his um, his first year and how the game right. slowed down yep. for him each year. And... We just we we do the same thing like we play around, we get to the field, get serious. Like we know we playmakers and and mm-hmm. practice. We try to perfect that and build a chemistry with all the receivers, and then take it to the game. Week one was slow, you know, like they didn't get to play in no um, they didn't get to play in the preseason game. So I had a feeling that everybody was going to come out a little bit um rusty and just getting that off them. And then first the second game should be way smoother. Yeah, because Does- I was I, sorry, Ash, I was nervous. I was watching the game, and I'm like, "Yo, the Baltimore Ravens is about to fall to the Texans." Are oh you kidding God. me? It oh, was no. like the first half. Yeah, it was close. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what y'all boys was out there doing the first half. Yeah, yeah, the, the, fir- the first half was close. Then we was like, "All right, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pick it up a little bit. We gotta go in." Right. But you was, next week should be next week should be a lot more smoother, man. Who do y'all have? A new offense for all of us. Oh, we got the Bengals. Yeah. Ooh. Well, listen, let, let's talk quarterback for a second. For people who aren't aware, what kind of leader is Lamar Jackson? Because I think that since he's gotten into the league, everyone has tried to tell him what kind of player he is, what position he should be playing. This past offseason, while he was dealing with his contract situation with the organization, people love to say, well, he's not worth this money. He's not this type of quarterback. He's not this guy. And Lamar's not somebody who does a lot of talking. He likes to let actions speak louder than words. So for people who have a lot of opinions about who Lamar is but don't actually actually know what he is and who he is and how he moves behind the scenes. Can you let us in on a little bit of what kind of leader he is? Uh, first of all, he worth he worth all that money, honestly. Because <laughs> he can he can really throw the ball. Like I don't really I don't know what everybody looking at or what everybody see, but when the way we practice and I, the way I know he gonna play this year, he gonna be able to throw every ball from every arm angle and however deep down the field and however short he can throw every route. And Lamar, he more of a like you said, he more of like action. He mm-hmm. he going he going he gonna show you more than he can tell you. He not big on talking. So when he say something, then you know it's like, all right, yeah, we gotta go. Like it's time. But he more action. He want he want he gonna tell you what it is, and then he gonna go do it. Mm-hmm. All right. So so uh, earlier I talked about dream, right? Like I'm sure you're one of those guys that's not surprised that you're in this position. You worked extremely hard. You know you're super talented and blessed, right? And got your head on straight. Yeah. Um. You know, we're sitting here, obviously, with you because you had a big game, a week one game, and you're nominated to be the the, the Pepsi Zero Sugar NFL Rookie of the Year uh, or rook, rook, Rookie of the Week. And if you continue on this trajectory, you could potentially be Rookie of the Year. Now, I say all that to ask you this. Is that a dream of yours or a goal of yours uh, to, to, to be the Rookie of the Year? Is that something that you thought about? 
Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's what I think about. Like, that was one of my goals I wrote down at the beginning of the season. But what I wrote before that was, shit, we going to the Super Bowl. Go win the Super Bowl. <laughs> help your team win. Do whatever you got to do to help your team win. And then it was, like, everything about myself. Because I know what this organization is about. I know what type of team we got. And I know what type of team it take. I feel like, to go win a championship. Because you right. see Patrick Mahomes, he ain't, he gave away, they gave away Tyreek Hill, and they still went and won a championship. Mm. And he, he had receiver twos, receiver threes, kept out there catching touchdowns and doing what he had to do to win. And I just feel like that's preparation. And I feel like if we prepare the right way and go practice and do everything we can to um, help each other succeed, we're going to be in the right spot to help mm. to get everything done, and that's including rookie of the year, going to the playoffs and going deep in the playoffs. Brandon, I'm surprised you didn't get messy. You like to get messy and, and, and talk money and talk reactions and dreams and things. I'm surprised. I'm surprised you. We haven't gotten there yet. You know what? Talk to me, man. Yeah, talk, I'm hey, surprised bro. you haven't gotten there yet. Let's yo, come on. Yo, Ricky. <laughs> yo, what was your sign? Can you please tell me your name? Can you please tell me your name and, 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 and your school, your alma mater, and your signing bonus? <laughs> and it did me dirty on that one, <laughs> bro. But here's what you got to understand, Zay. That's one of those traditions in all locker rooms right so when we have the yeah. rookies come in obviously we have rookie skits rookie nights and then like we we ask that question so where, whatever team you're on you know that's one of those things that's been in the nfl for a long time before i got drafted to the denver Broncos in 2006 so for everybody out there zay had this legendary moment and and we'll have zay uh walk us through it <laughs> but you have to stand up and they ask they say what's your name uh -huh. where'd you go to school and your signing bonus so zay tell us about that moment so we was, we, was, we do it like a um a basketball tournament for all the rookies, so offense versus defense. And it's like whoever make the most shots in 30 seconds. But before you do that, you got they ask you what's your um your name, your school, and sign the bonus. So I went up <laughs> and I'm kinda like, I, I got a feeling it's coming. It was like, name, school, sign the bonus. And I was like, that's like I'm not a I'm not a um like a shy person. So when they asked me that, I got a little bit like, oh shit, I got like a little bit nervous. So I said, <laughs> they, they flowered. Boston College, and it took me a second, and I was like, seven million, and everybody <laughs> lost it. Odell kick his legs back, and then somebody next to me was like, "Yo, let me hold some money, let me." Hold some money. <laughs> so with that, with that sign, the that was a legendary moment in, in, in post. We'll 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 show everybody who hasn't seen it, but you can Google it. You know, it'll pop up. Um, biggest purchase, bro. Now Ooh, I'm getting messy. Now, now you now getting get messy. messy. <laughs> get, give us like something. I don't want to hear the chain. We all know we all gonna have a little some ice. I seen the Zay ice. Do we have that picture yeah. of Zay the ice? That was dope. Um, we seen that before, but I want to want you to. Really think, tell us like what you really went out there and said i gotta do it i gotta do it uh oh no i had to go buy my dad a car first uh, oh bro, very that nice a question i got him a car then i went and got me um a townhouse out here in baltimore okay okay well those are good those are those smart are, investments are smart. i want some i'm trying to get messy here Zay. like i want something like <laughs> like uh, a tiger know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they everybody, gonna, everybody, gonna, gonna get some, everybody gonna get necklace they gonna get some clothes that's basically what i did i got some clothes necklace the necklace is probably the most expensive thing I got besides what I needed. So obviously we want to be responsible here, guys. And like, I, this should be inspiration, right? Mm -hmm. This ain't us, you know, trying to b boast or brag, but it's inspiration. When you work your tail off, you have a dream, you have a vision and you work your tail off, you know, there's rewards that can come uh, along the journey. And so, you know, Zay, like it, it, it's an amazing feeling when you go from working hard and looking at your bank account, maybe having a couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars in your account. I don't know, you know, y'all had nil, but for me it was like nothing. And then all of a sudden, Ashley, you look up and for me, I had a couple hundred thousand in my bank account. And I was like, damn, I could go buy some Jabot jeans. I can go buy some <laughs> red monkeys. Those pants was a thousand dollars when I got in the league. And for Zay, he's talking about 7 million. Red Zay's monkeys. Go, I, Dad, you got your car. I got my town home. So tell me about that feeling, bro, when you saw that <laughs> bank account just go boom. What is a red monkey? I ain't, honestly, I ain't even know what to think. I just, I, I refreshed my, <laughs> my bank account. I swiped out. Went back in. I'm like, God damn, I got that much money. It's crazy. Yeah. I, mean, I couldn't believe it, but every day I went and checked, it was still there. So I was like, hey. Now we got to go work and get some more. I've, I've heard stories of some vets will tell some stories when they were rookies that they waited up until like 2 a.m. when the direct deposit would hit to like watch it in real time because they were like oh, make, no, to no. make sure I, it I happened. Kept asking, I kept asking everybody in the locker room, like, yo, you know when it's going to hit? Like, like, eight days, I'm like, Seven day come, and hey, you know when this go hit. 
That's hilarious. <laughs> no, I mean, so, I mean, when we, we talk about rookies, you guys also have, you know, the people that you've looked up to and you modeled your game after. Who were some of the wide receivers that really inspired you, inspired your game, and you took maybe a little piece of them and made it your own watching and growing up? Uh, I say I watch I watch Steve Smith, I watch A B, I watch Tyreek Hill and um who's the other one? Like those are the main three, but um uh, watch Stefan Diggs a lot too, mm. his route running. So those are like the main four I watch all the time, probably like before I went to sleep every night, I'll turn on some tape I'll turn on a tape and see what I can learn from it and see what I can add to my game and try to do it my way. So so Ashley, remember you uh we had somebody in the chat before you came on that asked us um, and then Ashley asked me, you know, uh, who, who he does... said that you remind them of a taller, more skilled Hollywood Brown is what yeah, they said. And, and my answer to that was, it's like, no, Zay is Zay. So, yeah. And that's what I see. Everybody that he named from Tyreek Hill to Stephon Diggs, even Steve Smith. Think about that. Because and we're not going to compare guys, but like Steve Smith is a uh, he's not that tall. But he, he's a bruiser. He plays so strong and yeah, explosive. Mm -hmm. And so does Zay. So, so Zay, like, if you had one superpower, if you can tell us what that one superpower is, for me it was my power, right? Like, I was 6'5", 230. So I tried to impose my will on guys every time, you know, I had that matchup or they were in front of me. What's your superpower? I, I say quick tips, quick twitch and explosiveness, like being able to move side to side and being able to – because I can still, I can run straight ahead. Mm -hmm. but. A lot of people can run straight ahead, but they don't have a lot of side to side movement that that's like quick twitch. So I feel like that's my that's my superpower, being able to move side to side and and still be able to get out and outrun people. Yeah, let's go to the chat. Is there anybody in the chat? We're gonna let you go here in a few in like two minutes. No uh, questions. Is there, is there anybody in the chat that, that that has a question for Zay? We got Zay, and we listen. Hopefully, Zay, you know, look, we're not gonna bother you. OG ain't gonna bother you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But maybe if it's like week eight and you on a heater. And, and it's clear that you're going to be the rookie of the year. You know, maybe we bring you back one more time, right? So while we yeah, have them. My goodness. Go ahead. What'd you say? I said, let's do it. I'm going to be back for the show. Well, we, well, we know you're going to be back, be back. Uh, as a nominee, right? And that's how you stack yeah. them. If you get three to four yeah. to five, then uh, we're going to look up and come, you know, NFL honors. Mm. Maybe that's what Zay, tell them when, when you are rookie of the year. Cause mm -hmm. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. I, I, don't 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 be mad at me. Uh, two early predictions we did this on the show. I chose Deuce Vaughn. My prediction was Deuce you did. Vaughn. You did. To be rookie of the year. But I'm yep. feeling like I like this energy around you right now. I like what this is what's happening here. So if you become rookie of the year, maybe you know NFL honors will let me and you present him. Maybe. You think maybe you think the NFL hey, that would be that, dope. That'd be, that'd nice. be dope. That that'd be nice. Yeah. That'd be sick. But, hey, Deuce Deuce Vaughn like that though. He. He wanted them too. Yeah. Yeah, but he just he just ain't, you know, RB1 right now. I just, I thought like he's going to, you know, get a couple opportunities. But not after week one and you got 10, 11, 12 targets, and you got Odell on the other side and Bates over there. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> well, listen, we, we have we have some cool questions, a couple. We'll, we'll go through these real quick. What corner are you most looking forward to matching up against this season? Um, I don't have a particular one. I just, I'm, I want to see all of them, honestly. Mm. I just, I'm trying to go and I'm trying to do my thing against everybody. Okay. What game is circled on your calendar that you are most excited for this season? Um, I, ain't, I like the Christmas game. Um, we play the 49ers. That's going to be a good game right there. That's going to be a good one. Yeah. Is it, is it in Baltimore? I know they got that. I know they got that crazy defense. So. I want to see. I want to see what it's about. See, that's that South Florida boy. He ain't scared of that competition. You see, I, mean, <laughs> I see that. Florida. I see that. <laughs> All right. So then, before we let you go, I like to do a little thing of word association. So I want you to describe this season for the Baltimore Ravens in one word. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I say don't blink because we we coming. We coming with everything, every game, and. In the playoffs, we still not gonna blink because we still gonna we gonna be there. Ooh! Damn. All right, don't blink. You might miss it. Can I? Can I? Can I change? Yeah, can I change <laughs> you my, might my miss AFC it. No, Brandon, you keep changing your game. AFC pick after every Aaron conversation we down. had. You said you doubled down on the Jets twenty five minutes ago, so you gotta ooh, stick with your ooh. pick. All right. You stick with your all pick, right, right. Zay. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I'm yeah, looking forward to seeing what you do this season. It's gonna be a fun one for sure. Yeah, and thanks for coming yeah, on, man. 
Yeah, listen, we got to tell everybody, go vote. NFL.com slash voting slash rookies. This is Yo Rookie, Pepsi Zero Sugar, NFL Rookie of the Week nominee, Zay Flowers. Make sure y'all go vote. Hit the link right now. Click it. All yeah, right, bro. Go Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we hey, yep, we going to push it. We going to push it. All right. Yeah. Love. Appreciate it, OG. Yes, sir. Bye.